sun is out. Yet, I feel a cold inside my soul. Address me for a reason. More prey. Actually, I think oh, I no. <laughs> never saw you in the King Crab before. You're welcome to scratch me behind the ears if you like. I won't scratch back. I am Unsinkable Sam. At least that's what they call me around here. Used to be a ship's cat, but the clipper I was on sank when I was the only one to wrestle himself free from the waves. The people here were kind and took me in. Been the King Crab's foremost patron ever since. A magnificent ship she was. Used to belong to a pirate, I was told. Unlike me, she didn't prove to be unsinkable, though. We hit the cliffs right neath the lighthouse. Not very apt a name for that building, I must say, for no light was shining from it. The moment I hit the water, I writhed around like I would on a hot tin roof. By some miracle, I managed to reach the beach, covered in kelp and smelling worse than a fish's funeral parlor. But I was alive, and that was more than anybody else could say. So I was. What friends I had. They drowned alongside the rats I used to hunt in the galley. And there I was, all alone. Not that I have it bad here, mind you. I've milk and fish aplenty. Most folks will pet me kindly, and when one of the village girls holds me tight against her ample bosom, I purr up a storm. But I do long for a companion of my own kind. And in that regard, there is no one like Maxine. Maxine, the mayor's darling pet. So gentle, so... Fair a feline, the grace of her whiskers, the subtle palette of dyes in her sable coat. She's one of a kind, that cat. She likes me, I know she does, but when I declare my love, she backs away. I don't know why, I have serenaded her and braved many a bucket of water for my efforts, but for some reason she is not to be swayed. By all means. People make a fuss about them because they endanger the lands around the city. They never bother me when I'm out for my monthly walk, though. But still, I do detest them. I mean, they're so unnatural, aren't they? Cats can have nine lives, but humans are only entitled to one. Oh, don't mention orcs to me. Worse than dogs, that lot. Sank Walrus Willie's boat right from under him. Best anchovy fisher in the world, he was. A loss to us all. That purring sound. Mind control vibrations, I'm sure. Don't be seduced, comrades. Oh, sorry, Medora. I didn't mean to frighten you. Oh, golly gosh, one who flaunts the highways and byways of silly old Cecile with the easy elegance of a puss with her tail in the air. I do declare such a sight is rather rare around here. But where are my manners? I am Maxine, and you must be one of those hunters one hears so much about. Charmed, I'm sure. Brrr, I'm the mayor's cat, don't you know? Born and raised on velvets and viands of most exquisite varieties. Maxine rhymes with queen, after all, and dearest. That is hardly a coincidence. Oh, he's a darling old Tom, isn't he? Pours over tales in love with me, and who can blame him? The feelings, well, it's rather mutual, actually. But that pet of a puss simply doesn't have a penny to his name. At the risk of sounding as shallow as a spaniel, I can't but admit my love does not come unconditionally. What if we were to have kittens, he and I? They'd jolly well starve, wouldn't they, with an alley cat for a papa? 
Oh, oh dear Sam, he's such a good old bean. But he does rather reside at the bottom of the scratching pole, doesn't he? And dear me, one must have at least a mite of standards. But of course, darling, be my guest. Oh, this quaint little town is a tad too parochial for one of my more urbane tastes. But one has to make do, hasn't one? The fresh sea air does go to great lengths to invigorate one's spirit, that much I'll admit. And it is rather jolly to watch the ships sail in, laden with all kinds of exotic wares, full of the little treats the mayor likes to spoil me with. Darling man, he dotes on me so. Heavens forbid! No, fear is rather too strong a term there, hunter dearest. The predator's instinct is a trait we share, you and I. And though those rancid ramblers may not be quite as easy to put to the claw as mice are, I assure you, they are just as easily outwitted. got pretty hairy there for a bit. I could feel the very reaper breathing down my neck. Don't you worry. As long as I'm there to heal you, you'll come to know. Thank you. I know you have my back, and I very much appreciate it. Looks like that dog is awfully agitated. 
Perhaps he wants to tell us something. Rest in peace, darling. So many dead civilians. It's an honor to visit the fallen. But theirs is not a sad fate, I think. To join the grass? To become food for the trees and flowers? What could be more peaceful? Jake, where are you? Are you here, Jake? Hey, wow. I was wondering where that awesome sweaty boot spell was coming from. <laughs> and here you are. Wow, this is great. I'm Murphy, Jake's dog. Wow, you smell great. <laughs> Have you been rolling around on dead things all day? That's my favorite hobby too. Y you know who I miss? Jake. Sometimes he'd just sit there being awesome. Uh, and I'd give him this look like, you smell great. And he'd give me this look like, you do too, Murphy. And he was my best friend. I came here so I could smell Jake again. He smelled great. But whatever's buried there doesn't smell like Jake at all. No, it's definitely not Jake. He was awesome. Oh, if I ever find out who killed Jake, the most awesome Jake who ever jaked, I'll... I'll... I'll bark so much! Seriously, so much! You have no idea! Whoa. Seven, keep you. Peace be with you, traveller. May your lost loved ones rest in peace. I once lived a prosperous life with my husband and our happy little daughter, Loni. But when the undead plague broke out, my dear husband was among the first killed. Loni never recovered from the loss, and when a group of mercenaries, predators, more aptly called, came to town dangling the opportunity to annihilate those undead devils, Loni lapped up their rhetoric and joined without so much as a backward glance. She was killed less than a week after she joined. Here she lies, and here I stand, mourning the death of my last joy. Where are you, Jake? Are you playing without me? Here lies Kavana. Will they have Sicile Pie Here lies in the Jake. afterlife? Please do not disturb. May the seven keep you. Where are you, Jake? Are you playing without me? What trickery is this? That's not Jake. It's a rotting sheep's corpse. It seems someone snatched Jake's body. I smell... Rotten lamb chops. You know who I bet would love to hear from you, Sauce Hunter? Your ex. Go on, send a letter. Before you lose your nerve. Where are you, Jake? Are you playing loud? I feel better already. Rest in peace, darling. Where are you? Are you here, Jake? Jake? Seven, keep you. Jake, where are you? Are you here, Jake? Jake! Oh, my God. 
My target dances in shadows!
once more. Even a sage and author as renowned as I is flattered when mortals dare among the dead to seek him out. Well, here I am, Nemeris the Wise. You may go wide-eyed with amazement now. <laughs> as if I need introduction. Nemeris the Thinker, the Theorist, the Visionary. Come now, surely you lack the time, as I do, for such silly questions. Oh, I've written so many celebrated treatises, but of course you have read and revered the philosophy of death, the diamond in the crown that is my literary legacy. There isn't a civilized soul alive that hasn't perused its profound pages percolating with perspicacity, Alas, that so few show an understanding of my words, so few show the expected intellectual growth when I put them to the test. You can, and indeed you must. But alas, I was not buried with a printed version of that blueprint of genius that is my inimitably esteemed essay. Never fear, though, for each and every library in Revelon boasts a copy. The gilded cherry on their paper pie. truly feel you are ready to prove that you have read and understood the philosophy of death? Then we shall proceed to test the metal of your acumen forthwith. Where 
are you joking? Are you Between me? life and death, death is the greater force. So argues the clergyman. Is he correct? Of course not. Correct. He is not. Let us proceed. Life is life's own goal. The question that is itself the answer. Good. Now I am unburdened of all worries, am I not? Not entirely, no. I concur. Last query. Boldly do I scorn the bonds of faith and fear. Death I dub thee life's equal. Is this my salvation or my undoing? Your salvation. Indeed. Oh, most impressive. Nothing short of miraculous. You have verily fathomed the message of my book. My undying respect is yours, uh, to an extent. In the knowledge that my legacy is in good hands. Ta ta! I shall see you in the next life. Where are you, Jake? Are you playing without me? Are you playing without me? 